All right, everyone. So I've already gone over lab uh, 1.4, the first part, which is called Run, Spot, Run. Um, today, I'm going to be going over uh, lab 1.4, Sprites in Action, part two, which is called Here Be Dragons. So in this part, we want to create a new sprite um, that is a dragon. We basically want to make the dragon perform some action, aka an animation, and follow the mouse pointer when the key is pressed. So as you can see here, I've already gone through the steps of importing my dragons. Here we're importing dragon 1A and dragon 1B. Um, I'm going to go back to my scripts. So the part of this lab that I want to do is basically make the sprite of breathe fire appear to breathe fire when the F key is pressed. So um, the basics of this is that we basically want this script to make the dragon that I have right over here switch from this costume, dragon 1A, to dragon 1B whenever I press the F key. So I'm going to go ahead and start with control, and we're going to go back to our when blank key is pressed. I'm going to change this to our F key right down here. And this one is rather simple. We're going to go to looks. I want to switch to a costume. I want to switch the costume because I'm starting at 1A. I want it to change to 1B. And then I want to switch back to my other costume, 1A. Now you can probably see the uh, issue with the script already is that because snap grips do happen instantaneously, um, this is going to happen all at once. So if I press the F key, let me click right here. If I press the F key, nothing's going to happen. There's no change taking place because I'm simply instantaneously changing to Dragon 1B and then back to Dragon 1A. Uh, what I'm going to do is have this stick for a few seconds. So I'm going to go to a convenient block in control that is called wait. So I'm going to drag wait up here. I'm going to click back. Now anytime I press the F key, as you can see, my script takes action by changing to the costume Dragon 1B, waiting one second, and then changing back the costume Dragon 1A. You can see this is how we make our Dragon Breathe Fire. Now the next part of this lab is a little bit more complicated. We want to modify our code so that the dragon attacks the mouse pointer when the F key is pressed. Uh, when the F key is pressed, we want the dragon to take the following actions in order. We want them to move, uh, or I'm sorry, switch to the normal costume, point at the mouse pointer, glide to the mouse pointer's position, change to the fire breathing costume, pause to breathe fire, and then change back to the normal costume. So I'm going to move my code out of the way here. I am going to need this later, so I'm keeping it. Again, we want to make sure that we keep code. Code is very easy uh, to reuse and to help you know make larger blocks of code with stuff that we already have. So I'm going to keep it. Um, what I'm going to do is the first part, I want to make sure I'm in the correct costume. So when the F key is pressed, I want to make sure I'm in the Dragon 1A costume. This is important because just in case if at any point we get stuck in the flame uh, costume, we want to go ahead and switch back. I am then going to make the dragon point at the mouse pointer. So uh, this sounds like a good block for a motion block. We're going to say point towards. So the good thing about this point towards, if you haven't seen it already, we have these little drop downs right here. Typically, these drop downs mean that we can select something that we've already created. So in this case, we would be able to maybe select our sprite, select another sprite, select a random thing that we've put inside the screen. But here, I want to select the mouse pointer. So now anytime I press the F key, we're going to switch to Dragon 1A. We're going to point towards the mouse. So as you can see, I'm going to demonstrate this. Press F. And suddenly, my dragon is now pointing towards my mouse. If I click and drag over here and do the same thing, I'm pointing towards the mouse again. So now we want the dragon to glide towards the mouse pointer and breathe fire. Well, we already have the breathing fire portion of the script, but the next part we want to do is make the dragon glide towards the mouse. There's a very convenient block that's named very similar to what we want it to do. We want to glide one seconds to X, zero, Y, zero. So I'm going to click this, drag, and put it right here. Now, obviously, I don't want to go to X, zero, Y, zero, and I'm going to change this to maybe three seconds now just so we get a little bit more time gliding. Um, instead, I want to go to a different position. I want to go to my mouse position. Well, the good thing is there's already a block that helps us do this. So as we go to sensing, we can see these two variables here, mouse X and mouse Y. I'm going to drag mouse X to my X spot and snap it in. And I'm going to put mouse to mouse Y and snap it in. Now what this block is going to do is make the dragon glide for three seconds to X, which is going to be the same position as mouse X and Y, which is going to be the position of mouse Y. So I'm going to snap this in and add my last part, which actually makes the dragon breathe fryer. Now what my script is going to do is going to make the dragon point towards my mouse, glide three seconds to its position, and then breathe fire. So I press F. So you can see it's now gliding three seconds, and it's breathing fire. And that is how you complete the second part of lab 1.3.